These are my 10 essentials as a rehab physical therapist. And I use them every single day, whether it is something I am wearing or using before, during, or after my work shift. And stick around until the very end of this video because I'm gonna show you a bonus essential and it actually fits in the palm of my hand. And I've provided links in the description below for all of these items so you can get them if you're a PT, PTA, PT student, or if you're in healthcare in general. And my first essential is what I wear to work. And I've tried on different brands, different styles, different sizes, but what I like the best and what really fits me the best is the Cherokee Infinity for men. Now, what I love most about the Cherokee Infinity scrubs is that it has a lot of pockets. Now, it has a pocket in the top left corner as well as in the front pockets kind of by your waist. And that is so important because I use those every single time that I have anything, whether it's my paperwork, documents, or my tools, I always need pockets, as well as the pant bottom for the Cherokee Infinity. I typically like a jogger style bottoms, which has a elastic bottom right here, as you can see. One of the most important things about workwear as a physical therapist is something that is comfortable, but also functional. We're getting in different positions like deep squats sometimes, split lunges, we are doing some overhead reaches. Sometimes we are also doing exercise with the patient and so we have to have something comfortable. One thing I'm gonna add on to comfort besides the scrubs that I wear are these Lululemon Commission pants. Now I get it, these are pretty pricey and quite frankly, at first I didn't wanna spend this amount of money on a pair of pants. However, I got myself a pair and trust me when I say this, I've used this pair of pants for the last maybe two years but when it comes to doing you know, split stances, squats, doing dependent transfers, I need something that is gonna be stretchable, it is gonna be comfortable and it's gonna be breathable. But if someone ever asks me what type of pants is gonna be the best as a physical therapist, I will always back up Lululemon pants, no matter the price, because this is functional, it is comfortable, and it will last many, many years, especially if you are doing any sort of activity with your patient. So my next essential is what I wear on my feet, and my choice of footwear is the Hoka's. And specifically, I wear the Clifton 8s. Now, there is the Clifton 9 right now, which at the time of shooting this video is about $145. However, if you choose to go with different versions, you can actually get yourself a cheaper price. And as you can see, these are pretty much beat up and they're so used. However, I love them because they have a thick sole in the bottom. They're really like walking on clouds. Not only is it kind of stylish, honestly, especially the Clifton series, but it is so comfortable whenever I am working with my patients. And honestly, the Hoka Clifton 8s have never disappointed me. My next essential is what is on my wrist. It is my Apple Watch, and for me as a physical therapist working in the rehab hospital, this is a must. Now, I just wanna say that the Apple Watch specifically doesn't have to be an essential, but it just has to be a watch that has some sort of way to record time. And that's because my main use for my Apple Watch is the timer. A lot of our treatment sessions are time-based. Now, in the rehab department where I work, my treatment sessions are 30 minutes, 60 minutes, or even sometimes 90 minutes. So I am always checking my watch on what time it is just to make sure that I can make it to my next patient on time. And if you're a physical therapist, you know what outcome measures are and I am always using my timer on my watch similar to this. So I just get my watch, I press start and now it's going on a timer. And I use this all the time for things such as the timed up and go, the five times sit to stand, six minute walk test. And these are all tests that I use to assess someone's fall risks, their mobility, functional endurance, their power output. And having a timer on my wrist is just so easy because I can just press start and I can be guarding the patient at the same time. My next two essentials are my coffee mug and my water bottle. So for my fellow coffee drinkers, I use a Yeti 20 ounce tumbler, and this is what I use to drink my coffee in the morning. Now, when I was a physical therapy student, I used to always drink my coffee first thing in the morning because I was so tired and I just wanted to wake up. I actually learned that it is important to drink coffee about 60 to 90 minutes after waking up. And that is because our body produces what's called adenosine. It is a neurotransmitter that promotes sleepiness, and as we go about our day, it slowly rises up. And by 
by waiting about 60 to 90 minutes after we wake up to drink our coffee, it allows that adenosine to slightly rise up a little bit. So then the coffee can be more effective at blocking those receptors. And ultimately it can keep you more alert. All right, now I'm gonna move on to my water bottle, which is this 64 ounce hydro flask. Now I'm a big advocate for drinking plenty of water throughout the day, especially as a physical therapist in the rehab department. It's pretty funny because as the years went by from a student to a graduate to a PT, my water bottle size has increased. Honestly, I don't really like the water at the hospital. It tastes a little bit different than my filtered water. So I would carry two 32 ounces with me and I would just down those throughout the day. So I figured I would just get a big size. All right, here's a pro tip to preventing dehydration at work. On the way to work, I am constantly drinking water. When I get to the office, I am sipping a couple of drinks of water. And then before I start treating a patient, I take at least three to four big sips of water because I know once my day starts, I am just constantly busy with patient after patient after patient. And I try to go back to the office to take a couple sips in between patients, but I don't always wanna rely on having that opportunity or having that time. So I always try to hydrate on the way to work and when I get to work. My next essential is a finger pulse oximetry. And if you work in a hospital and you don't have your own pulse ox, I don't know what you're doing because this is a very vital and very crucial tool to have on you every single day. I carry it with me in my pocket. You just clip this onto the patient's finger and it reads their heart rate as well as their oxygen rate. And in the hospital, I am working with patients with cardiac issues, respiratory issues. And honestly, this is a lifesaver because when I am walking them in the hallways, I can't bring with me the big old vitals machine and I'm rolling it with them. Instead, I just put this on their finger and I like this brand from My Best, Me Best. At the time of shooting this video, this is $23. I've gone through multiple brands and a lot of them, they only work for maybe a couple times or they give you some weird numbers and honestly, this specific one, the My Best, has been tried and true and it's been so consistent with me. All right, my next essential is MedBridge. MedBridge is an online education platform and out of all my essentials, I think this is the most important one and that I use so much. Now, like I mentioned, this is an online education platform. This is for healthcare professionals as well as organizations. Now, I mainly use this for two reasons. For one, there is a tab called Education and Training and I use the Continuing Education tab and this is where I get a lot, if if not majority of my continuing education courses on here, I can check which state that I am in, if it, it is accredited to that course. I can choose between different topics or body regions, as well as settings, which it is great for me because here I can choose hospital, inpatient and these actually go towards my continuing education in which I need a certain amount of hours every year to renew my physical therapy license. And the other thing I use MedBridge for is this tab called patient engagement which has home exercise programs and patient education. And I use home exercise programs every single week. I have this whole library of different exercises which I can click on one. Let's just say I choose the supine bridge. It will have the video a description already written and I can even write custom notes for my patients and then I can actually print this also email them this link okay additionally something that I use is the patient education under patient engagement and as you can see here this is a full library of handouts and education that I can print out and give to the patient. Now, as I mentioned earlier, MedBridge is probably one of the most important essentials I use as a physical therapist because it is a one-stop shop for all my needs. And if you're interested in subscribing to MedBridge, I provided a link below where you can get $150 off a one-year subscription. All right, so what is a top 10 essential list from a physical therapist without including exercise equipment? And my go-to choice is an exercise resistance band. It is just so versatile, I use it for a warm up before my exercises. I use it as a exercise intervention. I can use it for mobility, not only for myself. I actually use this during work where I can increase somebody's hip mobility during an active movement range. And as well as the versatility and the portability of this, where I can just stick this in my backpack and I can just use it when I'm on the go. And when you're looking at something that's the bang for your buck, this is the one, these are quite affordable. All right, my next essential as a physical therapist are the AirPods. Now, this 
this isn't essential because as a physical therapist, I have to document the things that I did with my patient. And if it ever comes down to it, it didn't happen unless I documented it. And oftentimes what happens is I am in an office full of my other coworkers and it can be loud and I can get distracted. So that's what my AirPods are for. I just put them in, I put on some calm music or even sometimes really hype music if I just need to wake up and I am just cruising through my documentation. So next, you probably won't expect this, but my next essential are some cleansing wipes. I use the Cetaphil Gentle Skin and Cleansing Cloths. I get them from Walmart and I just get a, a thick pack like this. I put them in my backpack. I work in a hospital and there are germs everywhere. There is bacteria everywhere. And after a long shift, I just feel gross. So what I use this for is I come back to my car after my work shift and I take a couple wipes and I just wipe my arms and I'm just wiping my face and I'm just trying to get all the gunk out of me before I go off and go home. And if you work in a hospital and you've never done this trick, please do because you just feel so much better before you go home. Now my bonus essential, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, fits in the palm of my hand and it is actually this mini shear. So again, I work in the hospital and there is almost always something that you can cut or that you need to cut. For example, I cut therabands, I cut spanda grips or compression stockings, I cut the excess parts out of orthotics and so many different things where there may not be actual scissors nearby and for me, I just put this in front of my front pocket and I there's been so many different times when I needed scissors and I had to walk all the way across the unit because I couldn't find any but having these many shears is so life-saving because sometimes you need something really quickly to cut all right that is it that is my top 10 essential list as a physical therapist and again I provided the links for all of these things in the description if you choose to purchase it I appreciate you and thank you for watching and if you're actually interested in learning about what the rehab department is, I made a video right here. You can click on it. And I have a video podcast where I interview healthcare providers and you can click on the screen right here. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next video.